Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 005 underscore BIAB underscore I where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Go to the file tab and have the mouse cursor to save us. Select projects. Rename this file to 00 underscore 006 underscore DIAB underscore I and click the save button. Now I want you to look at the project browser. In the elevation building elevation section, you have the east, north, south, and west elevation. Zoom out to see this elevation. Now this is the south elevation. You can tell if I upload the mouse cursor to the view. This is the east elevation. You can see if I upload the mouse cursor into the view. Sometimes this cannot give much information to us for understand which is the east, which is the west, which is the south. Especially sometimes this may be the east in the screen, but this is not the east in the real world when it comes a time to construct the, the model. Now if i double click the this elevation you see that i'm in the front view so if you go to the project browser again you see the south elevation south elevation is bold so now i'm going to rename this south elevation by right click and select the name then type front front elevation I think this way is more appropriate than east, west, north, and south. I'm going to highlight this elevation so that I cannot type it. I, 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 I'm not going to type it again repeatedly when I'm trying to rename the other elevation. So to copy this, highlight the, the word elevation, hold down the control key, and type C on your keyboard. Leave it, copy this elevation on the clipboard, click OK. Now, I'm going to close this view, hover the mouse cursor to the east elevation and double click. Now the east elevation is good. Right click this view and rename. Type right elevation. Since I have copied the elevation in the clipboard, so I'm only going to type right and hold down the control key and type V in the keyboard to paste the word elevation. Click OK. Click the X button to the top right corner to close this view. Double click this view to open this elevation. This is a north elevation. Right click the north elevation. Rename. I'm going to rename this to rear elevation. Click OK. Click the X button to close the view. I'm going to double click the west elevation now the west elevation is bold right click the west elevation and select rename rename this to left elevation and click ok now while we are in the left elevation let's get more level into the drone level one and two is not enough for this project so we need to greet greet more level also level one and two is difficult to understand if you have a project maybe have more than 30 or 50 level so to get a better understanding of this level we're going to greet more level and rename the current level right click the level and select great similar draw a level move the mouse cursor when the also align with the current level you see a temporal extension and click and draw the level to the right you see another extension line click move the mouse cursor now and click to draw another level click to draw another level click to draw another level go to the click the modify button to get out of the command now click on this level zoom in into this area click to rename this level as roof and change the value 
when you rename Revit ask you if you want to rename the corresponding view also select yes click on the value and change the value to 20 feet 6 inches and click now click on level 2 rename this level to first floor plan and click into the empty space click yes rename level 1 zoom in into this area click to rename level 1 rename this level to ground floor plan click into an empty area select the yes option now click on the level 4 and rename this level to b ifm s ifm level delete the 4 this is below stairs level select yes zoom in and change the value to minus 2 press enter click on level 5 click the level 5 to rename the level rename this level to foundation click and select yes rename the value to minus 3 feet click ok now zoom in into this area and click the add elbow button and to arrange the annotative in this level select the bs level and click the add elbow button and arrange this level properly select level 6 zoom in and change this level to footing click yes and change the value to minus four minus four feet and now zoom out to see click the add elbow button and click this bubbles to position the annotation nicely go to the top right corner of the window and click the close to closest view the level is a plan run at a specific height parallel to the ground floor so there is another datum which you need in when you model architectural model which is the grid the grid is run perpendicular to the ground now go to the architectural tab datum panel and select the grid command zoom in into this area and use the pick line the pick line button and click at the central of this wall click to extend this grid to the left and click to extend the grid to the to the right now I'm going to click this check mark. I'm going to uncheck this box to hide this grid and this bubble and check this to place the bubble to the left. Now I'm going to continue to click at the center of the wall to place the grid. The rivet rename the grid sequentially. I'm going to uncheck this bubble and check this bubble. Now I'm going to use the copy command to populate the grid on my model by going to the modify panel and select the copy command. I'm going to move my mouse cursor. I'm going to select this grid and press enter. In the option bar, click the multiple option. I'm going to snap this grid here and copy it to the center of this to the center of this wall. Revit still remember the previous number and rename this grid accordingly. I'm going to copy another grid here and copy another grid here, grid here. I'm going to click the modify button to get out of the command.
Now select the grid, click and move and make sure that the grid snap to this grid to align with this grid. Click on this bubble, move and move your mouse cursor. Make sure that the grid snap to the grid number 2. Select grid number 1. Make sure that it's also snapped to grid number 2. Select and arrange the grid to align with the other grids. Now that the grid align nicely, I can move the, the grid all together in this from the right to the left. Zoom in into this area, click on this bubble and align this grid to the bubble in the left. Again, this grid intersects interfere with this grid so i'm going to click outside to this select grid number four then i'm going to select grid number five and click the add elbow button now i'm going to right click the grid again and grid similar i'm going to start the grid from this point and move up to place the grid you see rivet still remember the the last grid that we place which is grid number six now I'm going to rename this grid to grid A, press enter. Grid similar, pick line button. I'm going to select the center of this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. Click the modify button. Now I select grid A and click this bubble to move it down. Zoom in and select grid B. Click this bubble to move this grid and align it to the other grid and click the check mark to uncheck it click on this bubble and move it up to align it with this grid and check this to place a bubble select this grid click this to align it up select grid D click and move to align this grid and move this down to align it with this grid Select grid E, click the add elbow button, click this circle to move this grid down. Now zoom in into this area, go to the grid access tool and click the save command. Alright, we're going to end this tutorial here. In the next tutorial, we're going to copy this wall and grid the first wall, the first wall plan. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.